In this video, we're going to take a look at the relationship between parallel and perpendicular lines on a coordinate grid. Let's take a look at the slope of these parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that go on forever and never intersect. Notice this first line has a slope of down 2 over 3. The slope of the first line is negative 2 thirds. Notice the slope of the second line is also down 2 over 3. The slope of the second line is also negative 2 thirds. What you might notice about these parallel lines is that parallel lines have the same slope. This is an important property to remember as we look at the equation of lines. Also in this video, we're taking a look at perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are lines that meet at a perfect right angle, or 90 degrees of intersection. Notice the slope of the first line on the left goes down 3 over 2, is negative 3 halves. The slope of the second line on the right is up 2, over 3. It has a slope of 2 thirds. This suggests an important property about perpendicular lines. Notice the slope of perpendicular lines. One is negative and one is positive. They are opposites. Also notice that the slopes are upside down, 3 halves and 2 thirds. They are reciprocals. This is our last property we need to know, is that perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. One is positive and one is negative, and then we can flip the slope over. Knowing these properties, we can make predictions about other lines. A little bit off the screen here, let me pull this down. We are going to find the slope of a line that's parallel to 5y minus 2x equals 7. Parallel lines, we know, have the same slope. So if we can identify the slope of this line, we can identify the slope of a parallel line. To quickly identify the slope, let's put it in slope-intercept form and get the y alone. We can do this quickly by adding 2x to both sides. This gives us 5y equals 7 plus 2x. Actually, let's make it 2x plus 7, since with intercept form, we like to have the x term first. And finally, we can divide each term by 5 to get the y alone. y equals 2 fifths x plus 7 fifths. If we recall, the slope formula is w or the slope intercept formula is y equals mx plus b. We don't really care what the b is. What we care about is the m or the slope. The slope of this line is 2 fifths, and so the slope of a parallel line will be the same, 2 fifths as well. In a very similar way, we can find the slope of a perpendicular line. In this example, we're asked to find the slope of a line perpendicular to 3x minus 4y equals 2. Perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So let's identify the slope of this equation by isolating the y. Subtract 3x from both sides, give us negative 4y equals negative 3x plus 2, and finally dividing each term by negative 4. This gives us y equals 3 fourths x minus 1 half. If we remember y equals mx plus b, we can see the slope of this line is 3 fourths. Our slope will be the opposite reciprocal, negative, four-thirds.